Hey everyone, in today's quick video, I want to show you how to sort in PyMongo. So the reason why I'm making this is because sorting in PyMongo is slightly different than sorting through like a MongoDB command line tool. So I just wanna show you how this works in this video. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to add a bunch of fake data to the database. Here I have this loop that will loop 3000 times and add some data and then insert it into a collection called users. So I'll go ahead and run this script. And I also have MongoDB running through Docker Compose along with this tool, Mongo Express, to see the data. So here I have example, my collections users, and now we see all the user data that was inserted just now. I have 3000 documents. So now I'll go back over here and what I want to do is I want to sort. So the first thing I'll do is I'll comment out this. And now I want to write a query to just get all the data. So I have this users collection and I just want to get everything. So I can just do find. And the reason why I'm doing this here is just to show you what it looks like before it's sorted. So for user in users, I want to print the user. So now if I run this script, we see that I get the documents here. What I'll do is I'll limit this to 10 so it's easier to see. Okay, so now for the sorting, what I want to do is after the find, so you can put anything in the find that you want. So if you want to actually filter the results, you can. In this case, I won't filter them by anything. I'll just sort them. So I have the dot sort after the find. So sort, and in PyMongo, you can do this in two ways. So if you want to sort by just one field, then you can pass in two arguments. So the first argument is going to be the field. So let's say I want to sort by username. I can pass username as a string. And then I can pass the sort direction. So if I pass a one, that means it's going to be in ascending order. So from smallest to largest, if I pass a negative one, it's going to be in descending order. That's from largest to smallest. So I'll pass one to make it ascending and I'll run the script. And now if we just look here, we see that the username starts with A for Aaron 66, Aaron 76, Aaron 78, a lot of Aaron's in this system. But as you can see, it starts with A and it goes up in the alphabet. If I change this to negative one and I run this, now we look at the usernames and we have usernames that start with Z. So that's the first approach where you just wanna sort by one field. If you wanna sort by multiple fields, then instead of passing these two arguments, you wanna pass one, which is a list. And this will be a list of tuples. So each tuple will be a field in a sort direction. So if I pass username and then one, then that's the same filter that I just did. If I pass mail and negative one, then that's another one. So let me run this. And we see looking at the emails, the emails start with Z because I have negative one. And now if I wanna sort by another field at the same time, I can pass in, let's say birth date, and then the direction again. And it will just apply these sorts in the order. So it will sort everything by mail first, and then of those, it will sort by birthday. So if there are any matches in the email address, which there shouldn't be in this particular case because email is typically unique, but if there were matches, then it will sort by the birthday. And thinking about a situations like that where there are matches, what you will wanna do is, so for example, birthday here, birthday is actually a field where there could be matches because two people can be born on the same day. So if I were to sort by the birthday and I wanted a consistent sort order, what I can do is I can first pass the birthday here, and then for the second one, I'll pass a unique one. And the best unique field to pass is the ID. So now when I run this, every time I do this query, I get these results. And every time I run this, I'll get the exact same results guaranteed. Of course, assuming I haven't inserted any additional data or removed some, but I'll get the same results over and over because I'm always sorting by this unique field as the second one. So if two people have the same birthday, then the ID will make sure that the sort order is always the same. If you didn't have this ID and you only did birth date, then if two people had the same birth date, then there's no guarantee that the results will appear in the same order every time. So this underscore ID ensures that for you. So that's basically what I want to cover in this video. So you don't do the typical thing in PyMongo where you do like the object, so, or dictionary in Python username. That doesn't work simply because of how PyMongo is implemented. So you have to pass either two arguments, the field and the direction, or you have to pass in a list of tuples that each have the field and direction. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about sorting in PyMongo, feel free to leave a comment down below. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.